It's Madden NFL 24, and it's presented by EA Sports. It's the Detroit Lions and the New York Jets, and it's coming up next. Well, we are about a $50 cab ride away from Midtown Manhattan at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Detroit Lions taking on the New York Jets. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles, quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. Started and off we go from MetLife Stadium. Here's Khalif Raymond to return. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26 yard line. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. They'll be led out by the first overall selection of the 2016 draft from Cal. It's Jared Goff. And at one point, the ascension of Jared Goff was really, really strong. Back-to-back -back Pro Bowls, took his team to the Super Bowl, and came really within one quarter of winning it. But since that time, he's had bouts of inconsistency, and that's been the struggle for him as he tries to get back to the form he showed earlier in his career. To Montgomery to begin the drive. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That's a start they can live with. 15 yards on their first play from scrimmage. Well, there you go. This offense off to a strong start this afternoon. Yeah, with a big run and a first down. That's putting what you practice into play. That's excellent execution to get things started. First down, they run again. Here's Montgomery. That's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. 11 yards there and a line first down. Absolutely no trouble moving the ball on the ground on the first two plays from scrimmage. Absolutely. You know what I really like? Same guy carrying the ball in both plays. And what drives me crazy is when a back has a nice run, he taps his helmet to go out of the game. I would want the ball again and again and again because you've established really nice momentum. And now you're seeing the field. There he goes left side. Touchdown, Detroit. Josh Reynolds. 48 yards. And the Lions march right down the field in three plays to claim the early advantage. Well, on paper coming in, you'd say that these guys are the better team by far, and they sort of showed their superiority there on the opening drive. Yeah, they came in the heavy favorite in this game, and even though they're Michael on the road, they just still got just wiped it away, didn't they? They've just said to everyone, we're the better team. We just showed it to you on this opening drive, and we expect to do it all game long. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. 
They are led out by a former number two overall pick in the draft from BYU, it's Zach Wilson. And we all know the scouting report on him. He can attack the field at all levels with a very strong arm and make big time plays off schedule. We also see a player with confidence and swagger. We see a guy who knows how to lead a team, who knows how to compete, and wants to be great every time he hits the field. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 18. Throwing to start the drive. Wilson, that'll be complete to Alan Lazard. And they're gonna get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Call that a very strong gain of 24. Defense gives up a touchdown on the opening drive. Offense, you gotta wanna get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. First carry for the Iowa State man, Bruce Hall. And a good one here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. Another first down, this time on a gain of 19. Well, no slow start here. A couple of nice chunk plays back to back. I love the momentum that they're showing here early because they did it both ways, right? Threw the ball on first down for a nice chunk of yardage. Came right back and ran the ball. Looks like they've got the defense set back on their heels. Let's see if they can keep this moving. Meanwhile, Wilson's throw here pulled in by Lazard. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six at the 36 yard line. Wilson. Flush to his right. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 24-yard line. Big Dwayne Brown, the tackle, guilty there. Still second down. Temporarily out of field goal range now as they come up on a second and long after the holding call. From the gun, it's Wilson. He finds Randall Cobb with a completion. If they didn't have that penalty a moment ago, it'd be a first down. Still a nice 13-yard pickup. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. Here's third and three. Play action. Now Wilson. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up the first and goal. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. Second quarter now from MetLife Stadium. The Jets with the football here. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. To throw again is Wilson. Got a man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jets. From six yards away. And the Jets are an extra point away from evening this one up. Well, that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open to the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback-receiver combos in the NFL, they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play, and they got it done there. Zerline connects on the extra point, and we are tied at seven. That time, a six-play drive, and it ends with a Jet touchdown. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. 
And he returns this to the 22. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. Well, this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. Now Goff on first down. And that's to Amon Ross St. Brown. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That one goes for 24 yards. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. On first and 10, here's Gibbs. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. The linebacker, C.J. Mosley, in on the stop. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. There he goes, right side. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. 53 yards rushing for him now on just his first three carries. They had a chance to limit his yardage, but he was able to fight off that tackle. So it's not just the responsibility of the guys who missed the tackles along the way. It's all 11 on defense, able to stop this guy, unable to do it on that play. They've got to find a way. How about his ability to break through and gain that yardage? On first and 10, gone. Detroit. Jared Goff to Amon Ross St. Brown. And the Lions have taken the lead. They went empty backfield, all their weapons out wide, so there, there really was no secret here to what they were going to do. No secret, but they still had to execute it, and they still had to protect the guy throwing the ball because oftentimes when you empty the backfield, people bring pressure at you. They managed to hold in there and successfully complete the touchdown pass. Here's Badgley now to try to add the PAT. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So that drive spanned five plays. And it's capped off by a touchdown for the Lions. Now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Xavier Gibson now from his end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Jets get going again, led by quarterback Zach Wilson. Five for five that last drive. Touchdown pass as well. He was clicking. Receivers, I don't want to be cliche, but running really solid routes too. And what I love about it is when you look across any team, all right, the body types of the receivers are usually different. The way that they get open, different as well. Some of them use power to get open. Some of them use those head, head fakes and subtle moves. Some of them just use pure speed. And the really good ones, when they're established, they know how to push off at the end of a route, too. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll bring up second down. And it's a rush to the line right now for the Jets. On second down, Wilson. That's complete to Lazard. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. 
This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. First down now, but that clock rolling. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. He's going to air one out. And that's caught inside the 30. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Garrett Wilson, 73 yards. And the Jets are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. And a little time left on the clock, so on the other side, they're thinking, gosh, we'd like to get that lead right back. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Here I am going ahead and tapping out the first half. Well, There's still time. Way. They've got to make a decision about what they want to do on the kickoff or well, they want to let the return guy touch it. Zerline good with a PAT. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Lions now taking over late in this first half. And with a little under a minute to play, they may be looking to pick up some yardage here, maybe try and come up with a field goal to seize the lead before intermission. Drive starts with a run from Gibbs. And a nice run past the 30-yard line there. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. Second down and three. Goff now looking to throw. And that one's going to come up a little short. It's incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have now allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Goff now to throw. Incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. Jack Fox out to punt here on fourth down. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The Jets going to take over now late in this first half. And they've got a little under 40 seconds to go if they want to try to put something together here. Now Wilson on first down. Incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you had. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. After the incompletion, they'll try once more from the 20-yard line on second and 10. Wilson. This pass out wide to Hall. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. Five 
Final play of the half, it's Wilson. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have the Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So we've hit halftime all even at 14 apiece. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. half all tied on the scoreboard taken at the goal line and he will make it back to the 15 and that's it good coverage there by the kick team and the Jets going to take over on offense to begin this third quarter this offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter well, quarters number one and two entertaining we saw some good offense points put up Charles and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, doing a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid game to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. On second down, a run with Hall. And now off to the races, down the right side. And take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A jet first down, 18 big yards that time. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. On first down, right back to Hall. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Second down and six now. Now Wilson. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. Throw incomplete as well. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. 
And look at this, it's a fake. And he's not gonna get to the marker. And that's a turnover on downs. So they went with a trickery there on the fake punt, hoping to catch that return team flat-footed, but it did not work out. And you were talking about trying to catch them flat-footed. That's what they were hoping for, trying to catch them off guard. But that's a well-coached team on the other side. They were more than prepared, and they were able to stop it. in this Lions offense, set for a first and 10 at their own 43. He'll begin by dropping it off to Montgomery, and that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Now he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. Pardon, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get them. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for them. Show them that you're supposed to get the football. On first down, gone. That throw taken in by Jamison Williams. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination looked pretty good. How about that? Let's see if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. Now a first down throw, gone. That's complete to the Porter. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. Now it's Goff off the bootleg. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Mitchell. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Three quarters in the books. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. All square, 14 apiece to score as we get ready for the fourth quarter. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Off play action. Here's Goff. He's got his man. It's caught for a Lion touchdown. Jared Goff with his third touchdown pass of the afternoon. And the Lions have broken this deadlock and have taken the lead here in the fourth. Boy, that route is really tough to cover because if they're running it correctly, you think it's really going to be a slant. Yeah, well, we talk all the time about how it's tough to execute offensively, but you're saying, don't forget, it's tough to cover for the defense, too. Yeah, the number one thing that you're taught is to not get caught inside or get beat inside. So you guard that a little bit more. So that gives you a little bit more space to operate outside if you start your move initially inside if you're a receiver. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And the lead is now 21-14. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The New York set to take the field. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, 
This offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. Couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game. First and 10 here. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. So the completion gets him just a yard, and it'll be second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Here's Wilson. He finds his man complete. It's Wilson. His second catch, and this one not nearly as electrifying as his first. And it'll bring up third down now. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. On first down, Wilson. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield strike. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. They'll give to Hall. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. An important one here, no doubt. Third and four. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. Here we go. This is fourth down. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and this defense will take over right near midfield at the 49-yard line. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. They'll go to Montgomery to try to wind some clock. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Should seal a victory. Yeah. 
And they'll indeed take a knee. Second and 11 at the 41. Now a give running right is Montgomery. And maybe a little over pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25 yard line. A big pickup there, and without question, that should be more than enough to wrap this one up. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. So this one's over. It's a win for the Detroit Lions. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. For that, we sign off from MetLife Stadium.